I feel like I've been lied to my entire life. It started with your mom. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Fact or Fiction. I'm 80 Dog. Ready, fight. Have one of my fierce competitors today, Alejandro. How you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm your like Achilles heel. You have no <laughs> chance against me. This week, we're going over the brain. Okay. Do you know, I know you possess one, or kinda, sorta. I have a pretty high IQ, believe Do it or you? not. Yes, I'm like Rain Man. I'm challenging that. Cause you know, some people are so smart that at first they're a little socially awkward. And that's me. The awkward part, you definitely got down. Fact or fiction, your brain doesn't know where your organs are. That sounds like a trick question. It does sound tricky. But I'm gonna say fiction. Fiction? Yeah. Well, good, because it is a fact. Your brain, <sighs> ouch. Your brain knows there's stuff connected to your nervous system it controls, but it doesn't know where the stuff is. Huh. So it knows it's, your heart is somewhere, but it doesn't know the exact location of your heart. So it can connect with the heart, it just doesn't know where it is. Yes. It's like, you know, when people become lovers, they can share their brain and tissues without being in the same room. I think that this is that awkward part you talk about. Fact or fiction, AD. Babies and toddlers don't make memories. You know what? It's so funny because I always run into people that are like, they remember when they were a toddler. Do you remember? I remember none of that. Absolutely not. I don't remember one single thing, but people be like, yeah, I remember, you know, when I was three years old, when I was two years old, and this happened. So it is a fact. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're correct, sir. <laughs> All right. Okay, so when you're a baby, you have the more synapses than you ever had in your life. Synapses is the connection between the brain cells. So as the brain keeps growing, more synapses are grown, but you have too many. So the brain starts weeding out the connections that are not needed. And are those connections your actual memories? Yes. The pruning continues until you're 10 years old, but the memories start to survive when you're three to five years old. I don't remember anything. Do you remember anything? No, not three. Like, yeah. I remember because of the photos. When they show me photos of myself, it's like, oh yeah, that's me. But I don't remember what I was thinking. Every single one of those photos, I have no recollection of that at all. No? Nothing. You remember your first memory? No. Nobody knows what their first memory is. Do you know yours? Yeah. What was it? I was six years old. My brother was playing with a spoon and he was putting it in candle fire. And then he stuck that spoon in my stomach and burned me. You know what's so crazy? I have a similar incident. I was faking when I was sleeping and my brother took my father's trumpet piece, yeah. like the lippy, and he stuck it in my ear. <laughs> so I remember that. I, I got a good one. This one I know you're going to miss. I'm gonna even it out. Nah, not at all. Fact or fiction, listening to Mozart makes babies' brains smarter. I'm gonna go, it's a fact. Do you have any? particular reason why you think it's a fact? Yeah, growing up, my mom purposely bought Mozart this to make me smarter. And are you implying that it worked? <laughs> well, depending on your answer. It is completely fiction. <laughs> Game over. I feel like I've been lied to my hey, entire listen, life. It started with your mom. <laughs> She sold you on a dream. There is no evidence classical music has any kind of magical effect on a baby's brain at all. I'm starting to think when my mom told me I was handsome, she was lying too. <laughs> Fact or fiction, AD? Let's do it. There's a specific region in your brain designated for reading. Oh, I know this is a fact, 100%. The only reason why I'm coming to the notion that it's a fact is because I heard your brain has all these different sections that does different things. So hopefully one of those sections does help you read better. I'm glad you said it was a fact. It makes me feel good. Even though I lost today, uh -huh. at least I get to say, you're wrong, <laughs> it's fiction. Winner. Reading isn't like speech, which is a core element of human biology. As a matter of fact, we haven't been reading for that long. 
So we haven't designated a region specifically for reading. In fact, and I think I'm one of those 20%, 20% of human beings suffer from dyslexia, which they have trouble reading. I would agree. <laughs> so even though I have dyslexia. Wait a minute, wait a minute. First you said <laughs> you think that you have dyslexia, I'm, and now you're saying that you actually have it. What is the real answer? I, am undi I have undiagnosed dyslexia. If you have dyslexia, it helps with other cognitive tasks. Like, like what? Like visualizing 3D objects. How does that help you in life? Well, I edit videos for a living and I have to sometimes do mock-up 3D stuff, which helps visualizing how I'm gonna do that. That's fair. But you know what isn't fair, at least for you? What? I won, I'm the champ, I won again, and it feels so good. But anyway, thanks for watching Factor Fiction, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you next week.